this project e hostel management system development db6 and sql server so once you buy this project you will get this uh, files uh, it include uh, source code database script installation guide and project report and synopsis file so first we will create database we will use that database script file so first i will start sql server i am using sql server 2014 express edition so you have to download and install sql server you can use any latest version of sql server so first i will connect the database right click here then create new database so i will create a blank database so i will give the name hostel db click on, click on ok to create the database now just right click the new database right click and click on new query now click on file open file and you have to select the database suite file so you just copy this path paste here Basically, this uh, script have the, all the create table and insert statement. So once you run this, it will create all table with that sample data. So just refresh, it will create all the tables. Okay. So once it is done, you have to start your Visual Basic and open the project. So I will just uh, start Visual Basic. It is Visual Basic 6.0. So once you install Visual Studio 6.0, it will come. So right click here, click on more and run as administrator, click on yes, now just copy the path of your project folder, source code folder, copy it, or you can cancel and then click file, open project, just paste the path, source folder path and select that hostel management visual basic project file, so it will open the project. This project will have all the forms. So I want to change anything in the designs, like you want to put your name. So you just select the control, press F4, and you will change the caption, right? By obviously, so for you, you can type your name, college name, your name, roll number, whatever you want. Same thing if you want to change anything in login form or any form, just open that form, and you can change the uh, text or design, image, everything. So once it is done, then you have to create one DSN. So you can check the DSN name also. That hostel SQL DSN you have to create. So I will create. So you have to just uh, copy this and just go to your control panel. So run, in run, just type control. Then administrator tool. ODBC driver data source for 32 bit click here click add you have to get user dsm then click add select the SQL server native client paste the dsn name server name you have to select or you have to type the server name so you can just go to properties you will get the name just copy this name and paste here click on next the same don't need change now we have to change the database name, whatever database you have created. We are creating hostel DB. So I will select hostel DB. Click on next, then finish. Test data source, successful. Okay, okay. Click on okay, close it. Okay. Now the DSN part also we have created. So now we have to run the project. user id and password is admin admin default user id password this is the project okay so i'll just minimize all the files now basically this is uh, this is uh, for the hostel so once the new student come in hostel you have to create add his details in hostel uh, student master then you can maintain the bed type bed master and then you have to allocate that bed to students okay once the student leave you have to reallocate that bed and you can generate the report. So I'll first uh, use the hostel details. Okay, so if you want to change the hostel name and everything, you can put there. Okay, now second is bed type. 
the different type of bed is there hostel bed so if you want to change or even to add any bed you can add from there now there is for bed master so i want to add a new bed so i'll click on new then type the bed number then bed type it is already coming from master so it will be general bed room number which room this bed is there one zero say room number four then charges what is the charges so per month i will charge 500 remark remark is not uh, compulsory you can click on save so new bed details is added so if you want to edit the rate so i want to edit click on modify then i will add 7 to 3 rupees and so let me just click then type the value and click on modify so it will change Okay, now charges. There is a different charges. There is like bed charges, food charges, other charges. Suppose I want to add a new charges. So I'll put the internet charges. What is charges? Save 50 rupees. And save. So new charges is added. So once bill entry, these details will be used. Now staff details. This is a different, different staff that hostel uh, has that. Staff details. I want to add a new staff. The so staff name say senior experience BSc quality. For experience, you have to put like four years. Then next qualification for graduate, designation clerk, salary. So not any relevant, but you can put there. So the login name because he can login into the system. And password, the same password. So, so this details is created. Now student master, this is the important thing. Student. So I will add a new student here. The so, student name is Sneha. Or the so, student code. So one zero zero five. The so, student name is Sneha. Sneha. Address a phone pin code four two five phone number email is optional date of birth you can put date of birth in the female class which class say ten division a division roll number real admission who is taking the admission so so new details will be saved like this one. So once this is done, so you can allocate to this bed to that uh, student. Okay, so student, this is a new student, it is not allocated. So I have to click on new, then I have to select the student. The details will automatically come bed number, which bed. So this is new bed I will give to her. So admission by who is taking the option, Ravi. Then save. So new details is saved. So once the student is left from the cell, we can delete that entry. Now that uh, once it is done, so you have to take the payment. So you can just uh, select, click on new. New bill number is created. So we have to take the student, the new student, student file. Okay, so charges. So I will charge that bed charges. So once we click, it will show the 5,000. First time, add. I want to another, I want to internet charges also. Add. So I want to uh, say room charges. Now, this is total amount is calculated. So I want to get food charges also. Remarks paid by cash. Now this is who is taking the trial receipt. Click on save. So details will send. Now if I want to see today's bill, so just click on there. This is an I want to take a print out of the uh, receipt. So I can click on print it will come the bill number what is that amount i have taken from the particular student okay this can be taken print out also so i want to see the report what is the bed allocation report which bed have which student so it will show like this is the bed number so now so which, which date is allocated it will show now total collection report so date wise it will show which date i have taken how much amount 
So this project uh, it is uh, developed in Visual Basic 6.0 and SQL Server. So once you buy this project, you will get all these files. I have already shown you the database script for database creation, source code, all the files is there. And this is the installation guide and project report and synopsis file.